Siberian Husky pups are adorable, and the dogs are quite entertaining on sites like TikTok and Instagram. But as with most dogs, they don't stay small, nor are their antics always adorable. You end up with a dog that not everyone is equipped to handle. Just in case you are tempted, here are five reasons not to get a Husky. You don't like the taste of fur. A husky's coat is beautiful while it's on the dog, not so much when it's all over everything you own, and definitely not when it becomes part of your morning breakfast. Yes, you will find dog hair everywhere, including your cereal bowl, and that's year-round. Let's not even get into the complete coverage you'll get twice a year when your husky blows his coat. We're talking wall-to-wall -wall fur coverage. Hope you've got a good vacuum cleaner. Huskies are loud. If you find yourself preferring peace and quiet over chaos, you might want to look into a different breed. The Husky is a very vocal breed that has an unwavering love of yodeling and howling. They will do this at any given time, but especially if they hear a high-pitched noise, are demanding attention, are stressed, or if they're unstimulated and bored, but sometimes just because. Well, it's a Husky. You can always work with a certified dog trainer to find ways to help reduce the behavior, but this trait is inherent to the breed. Your husky may drag you along for walkies, and they will need plenty of mental and physical exercise. If you enjoy a relaxing walk with your dog, it'll take a lot of work to teach your husky leash manners. People tend to forget these dogs were selectively bred for hundreds of years on their ability to pull sleds for long periods of time over great distances. They are known for their strength, stamina, and endurance. What's also important is giving them an equivalent job to what they were bred to do as an outlet for their instincts. There are specialized harnesses for things like cart pulling and bike joring to facilitate their drive in an acceptable manner. You're not going to train away instinct and genetics, but you can at least teach your dog when it's appropriate to pull and when it's not. Focusing on leash manners while also giving them a breed appropriate outlet is going to help you and your husky find that balance. If you're not particularly active or not at home a majority of the day, this breed might not be the best match for you. Huskies absolutely need things like enrichment, structure, training, and tons of physical exercise, as well as mental stimulation. These are very active and intelligent dogs that need to be given something to do. If left to their own devices, they will do things like howl incessantly, chew through doors and walls, or make your favorite armchair look like it exploded. They are also a highly social breed that craves human companionship, so being left alone at home will lead to behavioral and other undesirable issues. Hiking, swimming, jogging, carpooling, and bike joring are all great physical outlets for energy. Training new behaviors or tricks, playing games with your dog, enrichment toys like treat puzzles, kongs, topples, snuffle mats, and sniffy walks are all great mental enrichment that keep your dog's mind occupied and engaged. This isn't a breed that's content being a couch potato 24-7. If you aren't ready to take on the commitment of almost always on-the-go dog, maybe look into some lower activity companion breeds. Huskies are nomadic in nature. This makes them Houdini-level escape artists. If left unattended in the yard, they can and will find a way to get out and see the world on a self-guided tour. They can also find ways to back out of a collar on a walk or bust open their crate latch and wreak havoc in your home while you're not there. Huskies always need to be supervised when allowed to roam freely, even in an enclosed space like a yard or an off-leash dog park. Curiosity and wanderlust will present ways like finding a hole near the fence, climbing the fence, or taking the opportunity to, to show themselves out via the open gate. This combined with having almost no homing instinct means a husky can wander miles from home in a short time and then end up lost and have no idea how to get back home. Huskies have a high prey drive. Huskies can be wonderful family dogs and if socialized properly with other animals from an early age can integrate easily with other pets. But they can also become overly aroused by the quick movements of cats and small animals, leading to disastrous consequences for their target. 
For this reason, huskies should never be left unsupervised around cats or small animals like rabbits, guinea pigs, and other pocket pets. Things may appear to go well at first, but signs of prey drive and stalking can sometimes be very subtle if you don't know much about dog body language. So, for this reason, they should not be trusted to be left alone around cats or other small pets. There have been numerous cases of huskies living with cats all their lives, but becoming over-aroused and then chasing and killing the family cat. If you're going to be out of the house, it's always wise to either crate your husky, put them in a separate escape-proof part of the house, or block off the part of your home where small pets are kept. It's always better to be safe rather than sorry, especially when it comes to the lives and well-being of all concerned. While huskies are beautiful and quite awesome dogs, you see they are not for everyone. Whether you have what it takes to have a happy husky companion is up to you. Do you think you have what it takes? Comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more, and as always, catch you next time.